Welcome to the 3D design tool. My name is Leah and I'm a designer here at West Lab. Um, once you're logged in, this is your projects page, which you'll be able to view any projects that you've designed. To get started, um, I'm going to take you through the basic functions to um, draw up your laboratory. I'm going to start by clicking create a new project. This will take us to two options. Um, we're going to select start from scratch. Here we can name our laboratory space. This now takes us through to the um, drawing page. So along the left, we have seven tabs. Um, we're just going to focus on the first two in this video. Um, to get started, um, on the first tab, we see um, the basic design tools to um, draw up your laboratory space. First, we see three different types of walls. Um, here, I'm just going to select one of them. They basically have all the same functions. So selecting on it um, brings us to be able to draw the wall like so, dragging across down to create um, the space that you require. To stop um, drawing walls, simply um, right click with your mouse um, and that will bring you to your um, final space drawn. You can also um, add to walls by simply drawing more then right clicking off. Um, you can also change, so if you select a wall, you can also brings up the properties. You can also change um, the size. So by manually typing that in or uh, manually clicking on the end selection point and dragging them out like so. So the interior, exterior and curved walls do that same function. Um, moving down, we can see annotation tools. Um, this takes us through basic annotation tools that we can do to add more information to our drawing. For example, um, here I'm going to click on dimensions and we can scroll in on our plan, just using our scrolling tool on our mouse, selecting a point like so. Then we can drag the dimension across to whichever point we desire to find out how uh, the length of it or the size of something. Um, we also have uh, the notes tool, which we can select and drag out. And here you can type in your note. And you can also change the background color to whichever your suit. So if it's something important, you could change it to red or if you're marking out um, safety zones, this can also be a handy tool. Moving on to the second tab on our left, this is where we will find the furniture and fittings. Um, so we're going to select on connect frames. This here we can see the inventory of all the frames in the system. Um, so for example, we're just going to select medium. So we click on that and drag that into our laboratory space. Um, from there, uh, we can add more frames, more bench space, um, as much as desired or needed. Um, and that they should click in um, like so to the next bench. So when we select something in our drawing space, this will bring up the properties of the tool that we've, uh, we've selected. So here we can um, change the color of the bench top or the material. Um, here, if you hover over one, it will give you the material name. Um, so we'll just change that to this the white color, for example. Um, other options, so this first bit is the dimensions. Um, 
we don't recommend changing them too much if you want to keep your laboratory um, to the standard sizing. Um, and if you need to extend a bench space, we just recommend adding more benches like so. You can also select on one. And if you scroll down, there's a copy. So you can then create a new copy of the exact same bench you've got here. Um, this is also a rotation tool that we can use to rotate the bench um, to wherever you want and um, move the benching around as desired. So we're gonna go back here to this back arrow to um, go back to our main selection of categories. Um, you'll find other um, products under each category. So this one is Connect Cabinets. Um, here we can see uh, our range of underbench clipping cabinets. So for example, we're just gonna select the straw module. This can drop in and it will click in automatically. We can choose other ones, such as this um, Gratnels module. We can also change the color. Um, if you just click, select the object under the trays bar, we can select the color of what we desire. Going back again to our menu, um, we see other categories that you can select from. Now moving to the top bar of our design tool, we can see that we're selected in 2D plan. This is um, the ultimate space to draw up your laboratory plan. Um, and then now we can view it in 3D walk, which is um, just a 3D view of what we've designed in eye level to mimic um, what you would see if you were walking through it. So you can also move there using the arrows um, on your keyboard or your scroll on your mouse. The next tab across to our right is 3D Global. This just gives us a more flexible view and you can also scroll through this with your mouse and your arrow keys on your keyboard. Um, this is it for today. Um, look forward to seeing you in the next video.